Hi, I'm Zan Azli in Kuala Lumpur and today is the first day of the movement control order that has been imposed by the Malaysian government because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, the situation is pretty calm. There are a few cars, few people, but not as many as they usually are because people are supposed to be staying home. Uh, offices are closed. Government agencies are closed, uh, everything's closed except for those providing essential services and food is one of those essential services so today we are going to visit Karen Koo and Sam Kuei. They run a small hawker stall in a Chinese kopitiam and they sell Penang fried kuei tiao. so we're going to see how they are going to be handling the next two weeks uh, when everybody's supposed to be on lockdown at home. Can you tell me what is the business core and what do you do actually? Okay, our business core is Penang Fried Kway Tiao, the authentic Penang type of Fried Kway Tiao, okay? Mainly we are doing uh, cater for customer, it's like a uh, hawker environment. Okay, uh, how long have you been doing this already? About five to six years. Of course, we have our fried, uh, special kway teow that we use and also we have uh, caucus which that if there's no caucus in the kway teow, there's not Penang fried kway teow. And then the kway teow is very special kway Yes. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, my supplier told me the whole quarter communing that uh, only our store use this special kway teow. But business has been down slightly, but there's still customer coming around to order. We only cater for takeaway, uh, delivery, and also we cater for those uh, telephone orders. With this situation, we can only allow three customer standing around our store with uh, one meter distance. Uh, later on, that might be a tighter control. Only drive through, collect. Can you do drive through? Yes. Right in the road, right? Right in the road. <laughs> yeah. okay. Totally cannot. Once you are caught, you are fined a thousand ringgit. Caught for what? Caught sitting down at the coffee shop eating. So only tapau, only delivery. Yes. Now. Oh, the morning high, I have a tapau. Then after that, the dinner time and the lunch time, I go at home. I don't, I don't go out. I felt we have to be uh, self constrained a bit, lah. You know, just make sure that things are getting better. Watching a lot of movies at home. <laughs> it's quite boring, but nothing we can do. So we have to be to follow the MRO rules, lah. Stay at home. But not as uh, many when you the offices are closed, so the office staff. Just not all of them from the uh, same area. They might travel from other places to come here to work, so there's still a great impact. Hope, we are all hoping for the government to subsidize our loss. Do you think they'll do it? Hopefully. Cross your finger. Although there are some cars and people walking the streets, it is much quieter than usual. Those out there seem to move with a purpose. It's either to buy food, groceries, or go to the pharmacy. Kopitiams and restaurants, the few that are open, are half shuttered. Everything else is closed. So the number of uh, COVID-19 infected people in Malaysia are increasing by the day and this has forced the uh, Malaysian government to extend the movement control order until the uh, 14th of April. Naturally people are anxious and quite nervous 
but if you walk the streets, it's quite common that among strangers, you see people uh, smiling and waving and they're giving well wishes like uh, take care and stay safe. Uh, and this is quite heartwarming to see. We're not allowed to be going out for no reason and uh, one of the reasons that we are allowed to go out is if we have to do grocery shopping and uh, that is when I normally see people out in the streets. Uh, when I go to the supermarket, I see people there. Uh, there's always crowd control of course but you don't have to jostle and people are kind and everywhere you look people are smiling and uh, we keep our distance uh, apart. Uh, it's important to keep that social distancing uh, but people are kind and uh, the mood although very tense, um, you can feel that people are compassionate. Personally, I'm at my wit's end. It's not easy being in a month-long semi-lockdown situation. It's very uh, stressful and restless for me. Uh, but like most Malaysians, I understand that, you know, we all do. We all understand that we have to soldier on. Uh, it's only a matter of uh, weeks before we kick this virus in the behind. So like what our Prime Minister has been saying, just stay at home. Duduk di rumah, diam-diam. And I hope everybody stays safe and stays healthy.